My name is Lizzie. Each week I'm bringing along a different origami fold to encourage you to take some time out for yourself, some self-care time. These films are all dedicated to my colleagues at a hospital, UCH in London, uh, but they're very much for anyone to use. Of course, patients, but um, I hope whoever you are, you can maybe have some fun discovering folding and what you can make through simply folding paper. So this week I'm bringing along um, something that I found myself. I was experimenting with um, very simple traditional folds to make a little duck and I started just gently experimenting with that. So I suppose gently mutating it and seeing what arises. So this is one out of many stars that I found. Um, I think it's been found by others as well. It's very simple, you'll be glad to hear. Um, and someone commented that it looks like a compass, which I thought was really lovely. So I've called this one the compass star. And yes, as I said, others may well have found that um, as well, but it's, we can each find these things and I have been finding things in order really to be able to pass them on freely to others. So very happy if you can join me in making a star. And I thought the idea of a compass is really lovely. We're all trying to do our best to find our way forward as we go along to find direction in our lives. And maybe a compass star can just startly, start gently bringing your, you into some kind of direction. Um, and also I'm thinking about this time of year, it's getting a bit darker, so I am encouraging and sharing stars. And I think also the symbolism that we are doing our best to be stars to ourselves and to others and the difference that that makes. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. It's lovely and simple. Um, you will need eight pieces of paper. I am going to show you just from some rough paper that I've got. Um, if you happen to have things like wrapping paper, uh, or origami paper. It has the advantage of it having colour on one side and white on the other, um, which is what this uses really. Um, but I will show you just from colouring in, so that's another option. You could do some colouring in and then folding from there. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is hopefully getting you gently festive as well. So grab yourself something to press on. So I've got a piece of paper here. I'm first of all going to make just two squares. All I'm going to do is show you how to make it, but you would need to make eight and the eight squares all need to be the same size. So I've got a piece that happens to be a piece of A5. I am folding in half. Nice and accurate there. Good strong fold. Good strong folds. Nice and accurate means I can then just do a simple little nick and tear it there. <coughs> And next I'm going to make a square, so I'm going to take a corner and line it up down there. Again, take your time. When you take your time, slowing yourself down, it makes this relaxing. It's not so much about getting it done, it's about enjoying this process. And I think that's that's what creativity should be about, enjoying the, allowing yourself to be playful and seeing and enjoy each step as it comes. So we're going to remove the rectangle. So turning it over and pressing it down. Strong fold. If you happen to have nails, you can use them or you can use your just finger or you could use a little object to squash it down. A spoon apparently works very well, actually. Back of a spoon. I'm going to make a second um, square and that's so I can show you how they slot together. So they're the same, they're going to be the same size. There we go. So today I'm not going to show you the whole star, but you'll get the idea of how to do it. Moving the rectangle. <clears throat> this can make a lovely decoration, but I like the idea that the compass star could be used for all times of the year. And it is delightfully simple. Okay, so you have got a square with a diagonal fold. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to colour the side with the crease on the outside so it's like a mountain shape. There we go. Um, I'm going to colour them just different colours so that you get the idea. You could do this really carefully and do lovely little different shades. And, or maybe you could write things in it into your compass star. Where could it guide you? Hmm. 
in itself, just colouring in is very relaxing. I can imagine maybe doing different rainbow colours, writing maybe pictures. There we go. So there's one one colour. This is just so I can show you the how the different colours. One side will be white, one side colour, and that will help later on. Okay, nice contrast of warm and cool. Okay, so take your piece of paper and we're going to go on the inside where it's like a little valley. Same with your one. And I'm going to take the outside line and bring it to the middle line. Like so. And I'm going to do the same with the other, the other line so they meet. So it looks a bit like a kite. <coughs> like so and if we do the same with the other one too so again take the side and bring it to the middle line and do this on both sides so they meet like so great so our next step is to turn it over and we're going to take the point and bring it up to the point which is the widest line. If you're able to look through the paper, you'll be able to see that it's the same height as the back there. There we go. So we're going to take this up and bring it up in the middle so it's the same height there. And as I said, you should be able to look through the paper and just check that it really is that height, that middle point. We go and press it down. Great. We're almost there. Honestly, it's that simple. We're then going to take the top and we're going to fold it down so it lines up against that widest point. And you can see how with things like simple stars that many people would end up finding them just from playing. So it's nice to think, I reckon the world owns these things. It's just about maths and physics, really. <laughs> and that's it. That is it. And then folding it in on itself. Can you see? So that that's on the outside. There we go. Right, we'll do it for the second one. And then I'll show you how they come together. So again, we had folded the outside to the middle line, turning it over, and we'll take the bottom and bring it up to the point in the middle that's at the widest, which again would line up. You can see the back there. That's it. So bring it up there, time and care. Very simple, this. And then taking this top flap, and folding it down so that you reveal the white and it will line up all across that widest line like so and then simply fold it back on itself and that's your little unit <clears throat> to make a full star you do need eight of these but I'm just going to show you the principle right for every star, you would always have the units the same way round. So make sure they're the same way round. Now there's some little pockets there. And you will simply pop these little two prongs into these two little pockets. So it's also very much like other stars that have been made. This idea of pockets and bits to stick in there. Can you see? So it's simply taking these two prongy bits and putting them in there on each of the sides so i'm putting them one on each of the sides and I'm pushing it in and it should be quite a nice little snug fit and you can see it's really nice because it almost matches up these lines and so you continue with the next one and continue and you will end up with your own 
wonderful compass star. I really hope you've enjoyed that. It's a simple piece of modular origami, but really beautiful and I hope really effective. Thank you.